I was thinking the other day about how pond organisms might respond to particle radiation, so I grabbed one of my americium pellets and gave it a try. Microorganisms respond to many things in their environment, and high levels of EM radiation destroy them, but what would something like alpha radiation do to them? Alpha radiation is a particle radiation produced via alpha decay, go figure. They are basically just helium nuclei with no electrons. This pellet produces a lot of alpha radiation, as well as some beta and small amounts of gamma. Keep in mind, I'm not using a cover slip here and I'm looking directly through the drop of water, so there will be some optical distortion around the edges. Also, the focus in the eyepieces is different than the focus in the camera, likely due to my eyes being differently focused. So when the image is in focus, that means I'm actually looking at the screen and not through the eyepieces. I set up a slide with some putty to hold the pellet in place, and then added the water on top of a stack of cover slips so the water is actually in contact with the americium. I'm not completely sure what the smaller protozoa are, but the larger ones look to be a type of rotifer, a very common organism. After five minutes, nothing really changed. I turned the lights off between observations as to not dry out the water, because that would obviously be very bad for the inhabitants of the drop of water. The dark line in the side there is actually the pellet itself. Ten minutes in, everything still looks pretty normal. Fifteen minutes in, and a paramecium showed up, which was actually kind of a fun surprise. Twenty minutes in, the rotifers were all still very active and doing fine, but I did notice a growing dead population of the smaller protozoa. I'm not sure if that's actually the americium's doing, or another factor though. Some areas had stronger populations, but others had largely dead populations. The rotifers didn't seem affected that much at all, and the paramecium did not care in the slightest. Well, it wasn't an exciting result, but it was an answer. That's actually why I decided to upload this video, despite it being anticlimactic. In science, a negative result or an underwhelming result is still a result and imparts important information. I might actually try this again later and leave the pellet in a small sample for multiple days to see if that has any effect, but we'll see. Until then, I hope you enjoyed. I do like doing microscope videos, and with a properly prepared slide, the images are a lot easier to focus. So if you want to see more microscope content, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Thank you.